Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Responds. My mother gave me that name, carry it proud, and I read comments, because I like to conversate. So let's do it. Hello, Rant. We got Mason out of this bitch, y'all. Ready. Vince Smoke Sanji says, can we give Gary some type of award? He's been giving us the best, he's been giving us the skate news for years now. I got an award once from Heliclips, uh, biggest hater award. We did our thing. Evan S says, Gary the kind of guy to introduce yourself. Gary, the kind of guy you introduce yourself face to face and he still pronounces your, your name wrong. No, I'm not. Because like, if you were able to tell me how your shit is. No, I would. Damn. Cold world. T says, so, so sad to hear the um, hear of Phelps passing, shred and peace legend. Yeah, man. It's messed up. Uh, that was like one of those people you thought was just gonna outlive you and your grandchildren and live forever and yell at everybody and have a great time throughout skateboarding. And came out of nowhere it feels like and but his message lives on through anybody that truly loves skateboarding anybody that actually embodies it and is not looking for a check or a quick buck or anything that literally just wants to help it grow and watch it evolve into what it already is is the most fascinating thing in the world he's that dude and it is super sad but like they say you know they they be like legends so much you know everybody's like a legend like there's like when you're more than a legend you know like you're literally a fucking icon in skateboarding Everything that embodied the core of like, do it, don't kick out, be a beast, be a man, you know what I'm saying? Be a, a fierce woman, you know, he, like, and he used to hype up Samaria, like he was, for everybody, it seemed like he didn't like you, but he loved you because you were skating. And if you actually loved it and did it right, he was like, yeah, he kicked your board or whatever, but that was your guy. So that is it's probably one of the worst things ever, but you know what I'm saying? Left that good stamp on us all. So appreciate that, Felber. Shred in peace, buddy. Albin Rime says, Gary, do a kickflip over the LA River. Done already. I'm not doing it. Somebody did it. It will go unnamed. Standing Pineapple says, Gary, thank you for being you. No, thank you for coming to Skate Line. And Gary responds and commenting. And we get to talk and being a part of it all, man. Thank all of y'all. But also, I know, man, right? For me. I'm just playing. <laughs> Dead Wet Van Wick says, Love the show, Gary. I watch every episode all the way from South Africa. Must respect, bro. Worldwide. Skate line worldwide. Shout out to South freaking Africa, bro. I gotta go to South Africa. Heard it's nice as a motherfucker, but I also wanna go to North Africa. Can't just say South Africa without saying North. I gotta go to Africa, period. Gotta make a trip. Whole thing. Pingus Eater says, Gary, what got you into skateboarding? Also, how long have you been skateboarding? I've answered this a few times. Rocket Power, Tony Hawk Pro Skateboarder, the video game. Cause no people, no like person was skateboarding where I was from. Like nobody skated. So it came from like, damn, that would be hella cool if I could do that. And then watching the videos on Tony Hawk. Like I used to get the game so I could watch the video. Like when you would unlock the, t the tapes, I would do the cheat code to get all the tapes and I would watch all those skate videos. And then I was like, your mom, you know, nagging her, nagging her. She was like, come on boy, got me in the car, got me aboard when I was like seven. Obviously when you first try skateboarding, that shit is so difficult. You just be like, I'm not about to do this. Then you're like, wait, wait, wait. You get the ollie and then you start to really try. And then, you know, I wanted to play basketball and shit. But right when I turned 14, maybe 13 or 14, I got, it was 13, it was eighth grade. This kid Steven gave me his, um, he had a dark star. And I wrote that in like eighth grade and then I came right back to it. But I always had it in my life. Like I always would ride it in front of my house since like seven years old. So I've, been, I've had a skateboard in my life for 20 years, but actually trying to do it and literally learning kick flip, heel flip, grind this, grind that since I was like 14. So shout out Rocket Power, shout out Tony Hawk Pro Skateboard. Eat Award. Thorman says, Gary, what are your thoughts on the Michael Jackson documentary? Bro, I was watching that shit with my lady and I, bro, hell nah. My nigga Mike was tripping. Yeah, that's still my nigga. He fucked up. He fucked up. Ugh, nigga. What? If it is, ugh. Mm -mm. Alex Quinnell says, do a blunt, do a blunt to rock to fakie. All right. Okay, I want to shit. Let's do it. <laughs> This wraps another episode of Gary Responds. You know what to do. I gave you two. It's nothing new. <laughs>